All right, guys. Now I'm live. Thanks, Micah. Been sitting here yakking. Never hit the go live button. Buck, you are an idiot. All right. We're here. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Where was Wheezy Mouse at for me? I thought she was supposed to be watching it. She should have been pounding on the floor. I hope everything's good now. I don't even know if y'all been talking to me. I've been talking for five minutes already. Mm, holy hell, Buck. What the hell, buddy? <laughs> I, you, won, you wondered what happened. Well, you gotta when when I when you hear me talking down here and and you don't see it on the screen, you gotta jump up and down on the floor. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the bait shop. Now oh, I don't even know how many people I had watching that couldn't hear me. Probably bailed out on me because I couldn't they couldn't hear nothing. We're here at the bait shop. We're talking about the last little bits about the Congo. The baits that you need to go to the Congo. Remember, the Congo is the three C's, guys. <clears throat> Crawlers, crickets, and corn. That's that's what you're going to get everything on. You're going to be safe. You're not going to have a problem. You'll be able to grab up on everything. And uh, <clears throat> so, th remember the three C's. Now, another C to add to that, crawfish. So let's make it four C's now. Because if you look up on my screen there, what I've got there is I decided one day I was going out there with crawfish. And I was going into the, the hole that I always fish out over there where we get where we get all the catfish out of there. We're getting now perch out of there. We get everything. It's just that one hole that it, 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 I stay there every day and just level up. Well, I took I hit that same hole with crawfish. Got nothing but now perch. Nothing but the now perch. And a couple of nice size went on the crawfish too. So, you know, got to add and make it four C's because crawfish is the main bait. You will not get, I didn't get a single catfish on any of that. Didn't get a single catfish, which I thought was very surprising. But I mean, crawfish, I've had catfish. And you get down in there and they're going to hit on that crawfish. So, that is, that's the bait to hit, absolutely. Make sure if you if you want to limit your catch and you don't want to catch, you know, you don't want to catch those catfish, put some crawfish on there with those number 10 odd hooks and you'll catch now birds out of that hole. All right, the lures. The lures, guys, casting spoons, the flat spoons, uh, some toppers. I mean, it's a variety. They're, it's not like they hit hard. It's not like you're down in the uh, Moran River or Makumaku where the you know the top water lures the walkers and the, and the poppers work so very well. I, I did not fish a lot. I'm gonna continue. Like I said, I, you know, this is the last waterway. I haven't fished it for eight, nine months like I fished most of the other waterways. So we'll we'll get better and we'll keep coming up at the bait shop as I come up with another another bait that works real well in the Congo. We'll make sure that we talk about that on Sundays. Absolutely. Mm. All right, now. Oh, hell, Buck. Okay, I got, where are we at here? Okay, we're at 10 after. We got a lot of time here. Slow down, buddy. All right, so we went over a lot of the baits la last week that we used during the missions. Your small minnows, large minnows. So you, re you remember all of them, you know, and they, they work well. Remember the freshwater crab. That works real well for the now perch, but when you compare the cost of the freshwater crab to the crawfish, I'm sorry, crawfish all day long. In my book, now that I found that, I probably won't ever throw another freshwater crab in when I'm chasing now perch. I mean, because it didn't seem to matter size-wise. I, I, I got, I mean, it's still up there. Look at the size. They're all, they all eat on it. It doesn't matter. So that's a pretty good deal there. Pretty good deal. All right, now let's talk a little bit about biscuit in the real life. Now, when you're out there and you're going to a new waterway, maybe you've never been on that waterway before, remember one thing, <clears throat> that those fish that are in that waterway are gonna eat what's indigenous to that area. That includes 
the bugs, what falls out of the trees, what grows in the grass. That's what they eat. <clears throat> so when you're fishing a new waterway, and, you, and, and if you're having a tough time um, hooking up, a couple of things to remember. You know, nature, you use nature's bounty, okay? What, what it provides for you to fish, okay? Now let's talk about the 10 best baits that you can use out there. That, I mean, it's they're, they're given. It's You can go back, look at the stats, I don't care. Fact check me if you want. Here they are. Night crawlers, crayfish, a flathead minnow, leeches, gizzard shad, salmon eggs, mealworms, crickets, shiners, and wax worms. That's in real life. Now we use every one of them in Fishing Planet. Every one of them. Those are the 10 top baits in real life. So, you can buy them at your local bait shops. I have them here for sale. Hit me up on an email, I can mail you some. Not a problem, I own a bait shop. However, all kidding aside, guys, when you go out somewhere, let's think about things for a minute. Helgramites, basically the very great bait. Helgramites, and you can find that Walking along the stream or wherever you're at, lift up submerged rocks. They're gonna be under there. Look for that, inspect that. Sometimes it's good to take a little, like sometimes a little aquarium net. I mean, if you're going looking for salamanders and stuff like that. Otherwise, you always carry a seine in your in, in your arsenal. Have a seine with you. Uh, you know, get get to, get further down the stream, and I'm gonna to talk to you now a little bit about how you gather this nature this this bait that's laying right there next to the water where you're at okay so minnows use the same for minnows or you can use a dip a dip net <clears throat> but get off the main current get to the sides you can swoop up on some minnows in there walk walk through there and get some minnows crawfish now the crawfish you get into the slow to the moderate moderate um current you know what i like to do is you can, you can post up a net downstream Put it across the stream a ways. Go up there, flip rocks up that are laying in the stream. Kick around a bit, splash. Okay? Now, not where you're gonna fish, okay? Not where you're fishing. And these crawfish will run from you. They'll run downstream, you know, they'll get caught in your nets. You know, you spend 20 minutes flipping over rocks downstream from where you're gonna fish upstream, and you're gonna turn up a lot of bait to get it in that net, okay? Don't forget to have your bait bucket there so you can collect all this shit, all right? Nope. All right, the other thing, grubs, rotten logs. Anywhere there's a rotten log laying around a tree, pick the log around, tear into it a little bit, get into the bark, get away from the bark, down into the real soft wood where they already got it eaten up. You'll find all kind of larva and grub in there. Oh my gosh, throw that on a hook in there. Bang, okay? Grasshoppers, any tall grass you see along the waterway that you're that you're fishing on. Another thing, you keep a small butterfly net. Small little butterfly net or a dip net. A butterfly net works either way. If you get a little butterfly net, you keep that in your arsenal. You can use that in the water as you're flipping over rocks and stuff to catch stuff. And then you can also just walk it across the top of the weeds, the tall grasses as you're walking. 10 minutes walking back and forth, you have a whole net full of friggin' grasshoppers. Okay? Just saying. Just saying. Night crawlers. All right, that's one we love. All of us fishermen, every fish loves a big, fat, juicy worm. Now, this takes a little bit of, this takes a little bit of equipment, but quick and easy. You don't have to dig nothing. You don't have to go out at night. Get yourself two metal rods, copper rods preferably if you got them. Maybe rebar will work too, but you know, something good. Pound them in about seven, seven feet apart. Get them down about foot and a half in. Take an old, get a car battery on it. I mean, you guys are strong enough to lift, put a car battery on the ground, throw some jumper cables, one on each side. Boom, hit it. <laughs> get a bucket, because they come to the top. That's it. A couple of seconds, 30, 45 seconds of that charge running through the ground, them night crawlers crawl right up out of the ground or laying on the ground, you walk around, scoop them up. Boom. Disconnect your battery, put it back in the garage. You didn't create, you didn't dig nothing. Your yard still looks good. You just harvest about four dozen night crawlers. 
off you go to fishing the next morning. Put a little dirt in the cup, you're good to go. All right, so that's how we harvest our own baits around here. Now, Buck's gonna have to take a break, obviously. What are we gonna talk about next? All right. We're gonna talk about the St. Patty's Day DLCs. We're gonna talk about that. St. Patty's Day DLCs. Not one of my favorite subjects, but get over here live. All right, Buck, do your transition here. I'm getting better at this stuff. No, that method will not help get me up in the morning, Wheezy Mouse. Actually, it might. All depends on where you place those battery cables. <laughs> All right. What are we going to talk about here? Well, obviously, we're not going to talk about bait, which is in front of you right now. We just talked about that. Why do I have my screen like this? Well, I'm going to tell you, fellas. I'll tell you what, let's start. Let's start at the beginning where the pain begins. We're going to start where the pain begins, fellas. Hey, this is the bait shop. We talk about tackle. We're going to talk about this tackle. Oh, yes, we are. All right. St. Patty's Day event. We're hot in the middle of it right now. I'm about to lose my mind. I've pulled all my hair out. I don't have any hair left over this thing. And my poor wife is gonna kill me because now I've got another six million fish to catch. Let's talk about the, here's our packs. All right, by the way, fellas, this one right here is a good deal. What is that? Oh, that finally, finally live. 500 clover coins for 200 bait coins. Now, hopefully you guys have been saving up your bait coins and not spending them foolishly, only spending them on marker buoys and expansion. That's it. And barbless hooks, by the way. You gotta do that, barbless hooks. Don't fish without barbless hooks. XP, buddy. XP. All right. This is it. 500. Get that. If, you, if you've got 200, get it. I don't care if you've only got 700 bait coins left. Buy that if you're going to do this mission. You need so many of these clover coins. This is why we have to do 35,000 missions. Because everything costs. It, oh, my gosh. It's like, huh? It's like shopping at Tiffany's. Anyway, let's get back to our fortune packs here. The green fortune pack. Now here, you get a lot of cool stuff. You get a hat, you get two rods and reels and a rod case, and you get 700, I believe it's, and, and this, this is a sweet pack. Thumbs up all the way around. So let's take a look at it. What do you get in here? Here's what you get in here. 13 bait coins, 20,000 bucks. You get a casting rod, all right? 28.6, 28.5. We're going to talk about this stuff here, and I'm going to show you all this. And you get your reels, you get a hat, rod case, you can get rid of that rod case right off the bat, sell that for some, you know, get some of your gold back. All right, 777, great number there, that's it. And, of course, you get, you know, you get your line and stuff. However, big, big time lures. You get the lures that you need to complete this damn month-long mission that you have to do in 10 days. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna live long enough to get this completed. I honestly don't. And here you go, guys. Big kicker right here. <clears throat> Big kicker right here. The golden horseshoe stringer, which I'm fishing with right now. <clears throat> Gotta have that. Alright. And you get some mega storage and you get all this. This is what's sweet here because they bounce your ass around all over the place. So you get a whole lot of your pond passes. Okay, that'll get you there and then you get your licenses right there for all of this otherwise you're paying for it you are paying for it this alone 
if they didn't give you the damn gear that went with it, it's worth the $20 because you're going to kill yourself. You better have a couple million dollars if you're going to try to run around and have to spawn around and not have this stuff paid for already. You're in trouble, all right? Just saying, you're in trouble. Now, St. Patrick's Day pack. Hi, you, yeah. Look, right off the bat, I ought to tell you, Bitcoin's 13. That's a lucky number now, isn't it? Lucky 13. <laughs> Do not buy this DLC under any circumstance whatsoever. I don't care if you like the fact that it's got green poles. We're going to talk about this junk in a minute. All right? Everything in here is junk. Even the egg bobber. That's not even a decent bobber, for God's sakes. Okay? Junk. No barbus hooks. Junk. Every, I, I bet every one of you guys have more friggin' regular hooks in your backpacks. If, you, if you've ever bought anything from this, you are swamped with regular hooks. Ugh. All right. Anything good about this whole DLC? Right here. These three, 75 hunks of bait. For basically, that's what you're getting with this DLC. You're buying 75 hunks of bait for $20. It's cheaper to spend your, your bait coin. It's cheaper. Do not buy this. It's not, it's not even worth getting it for the bait. Look at this, look at this fish net you get with it. Maximum fish weight, 44 pounds. Well, you can't get that off of Les Nye Villa now, can you? What good is that? Garbage. I'm tearing this one apart because I got burned on it. And I'm so angry over it. Because we're going to talk about why I'm so angry over it. We're going to close this. All right, now, we're done here. We're going back to the inventory. I purposely didn't unload my poles because I'm not done with this chaos yet. All right, I left one pole open. Now, we're gonna go look at what they delivered to us. Not special, buck templates. All right, let's go up to when I bought the, when I bought the green fortune pack. All right, a casting rod right here. Let's clip that thing. Casting rod, <clears throat> what you got here is the Irish Harper 8.6 with a golden harp, 5,000. Now that's a 28.6 pole, 27.5 reel. And they've got it rigged with 26.6 contest. Balanced rod. And this, there was nothing wrong with this rod. I didn't have a problem with the rod in this DLC. This this worked. I, I brought snake heads in with this. Um, it was fine. Um, <clears throat> it's a hell of a fight. You know, you're not going to just yank them in. But you can do it and it's comfortable and it won't get your blood pressure up and you won't go nuts. Okay? So now, let's get rid of that one. That was... That was the casting rod that came in the Green Fortune Pack. Then you also got the spinning. You got the spinning rod. Let's equip him now. What do you got here? Now, you've got 28.5 on the stick. You got 28.6 on the engine. And is that match nice, huh? And what are they running for test? 28 pound, perfectly matched rod. Perfectly matched. Nothing wrong with this weapon. Nothing wrong with it. It works well. In fact, I bought it so f I bought it way back, way back when, and I've fished with it throughout the year because it's a beautiful 28-pound, perfectly matched weapon, and it works. Didn't have an issue with this stick whatsoever. However, it's a spinning rod. You're not fishing for these event fish with this rod. This is for the snakeheads or you just use it as a spinning rod when you fish anywhere else. It's a very nice rod, not a problem. But you're not using it in all these first seven missions because you're not fishing for the snakeheads. You need float rods or, or bottom rods for this, or feeder rods. But these fish are 27, you know, they start at 20 pounds, 18 pounds for the little guys. They start 17, 18 pounds, go up to 27 pounds for the right about, and, and you know, in the 20 pounds for the tabakwis. So this, you know, this rod doesn't come into play. So now let's get rid of him. Now we get to the disaster. Let's go down now to the one I bought right before I did the tournament. I waited this long 
God, I wish I would have bought this thing sooner and I would have figured this out before. But I bought it the day of the of that this started and I just grabbed the stuff the way it was equipped and I started into it. Let's take a look at what they give you here. All right, here's the first one in line. Now, this is the Irish Clover 910 with a Lucky Shamrock 6500 on it. All right? That's a 35 pound stick. They put a 28.6 pound engine on it. It's like seven pound difference. Okay, now look at this. And then they put 25 pound line on it. That's a 10 pound difference between the line that's on the friggin' engine and what that rod can handle. Who, who built this? Who built this? Zepco. I, I don't know. And I take that back because that Zepco's actually not a bad, not, not a bad weapon. I mean, this is, I, I, I don't understand that. Not one bit. All right, let's get rid of that one. Let's go to the next one. Now, these are all match rods. This is what you need to fish for all of these damn critters with the hats on. Look at the match rod, the next one in line. Now, this is a 34 pounder. Now, when you look at this and you say, oh, 35 pound, 34 pound, that should be perfectly fine for catching 18, 20 pound fish. Hmm. But no, because they're not using that rod. If you watched my videos, you saw how unbalanced those lines were, how the rod wasn't even working, and the line was getting beat to death, and you couldn't put the drag up to even use the reel and the rod power. So here we are, 34 pound rod. Look at this. 26.4 pound engine on it. I want you to see that together. 34 pound stick. 26. That, that's not good. Eight pound difference in that. Weaker. Now let's look. 20 pound line. 20. That's a 14 pound difference between that line and that stick. Unbelievable. This was the one that I went nuts over because I didn't even take, um, I, I don't think I took the third one of these rods I didn't take. I think this was the one I was fishing with. I took this one and the 35 pounder. I only took the top, the two top ones. I didn't take the next one, the 33 pounder. Yeah, this is what I had. This is what I stuck with. That piece of crap. And then with that ugly bobber on it, yeah, too. That's insane. Almost insane. Very good for you, Micah. I'm glad you got all the snakeheads. Uh, that'll be next year for me because I'm still dealing with this trash. All right, so let's get rid of this. That was that stick. Now let's look at the last one. Maybe they got one out of the three right. All right, what do we got here now? We got, which I thought was going to be my favorite pole, the green beer. Now this is an 11 foot 10 inch pole the, the longest pole they have unfortunately it's the lightest weight pole but that's a good stick 45,000 durability 11 it, it'll cast a hell of a long ways and look what they put on that a nine nine pound weaker that's insane that's a 24.2 pound engine on it look at the look at the recovery on these things, 27.5 on a spinning rod. I got bait casters with, with a better recovery ratio than that. 27.5, 24.2, now this will kill you. 20 pound test, 20 pound test. That's 13 pound difference. And you wonder why you can't pull the fish in. This is why. Why'd they do that to us? You spent 20 good dollars on this thing. And if you tried to, and I tried to fish with them because I was dumb. And I didn't look at this before I just grabbed the damn thing, equipped my my stuff with it and, I, and went with it. I've never seen a worse DLC ever in Fishing Planet. 
never seen a worse one. The absolute worst set of weapons. Unbelievable. And if you take these weapons, you won't be able to complete this. You cannot, you cannot complete this on these sticks. And besides that, even if they did work at 33 pounds, you're still five minute, five minute real time fight for these, some of these bigger fish, five minutes. And when you've got to catch 42 of them on every waterway, 42 here, 52 here, so you, you add that up, add that five minutes per fish. Add it up. What? You can't do it. Not enough time in the day. You gotta sleep, fellas. And I don't sleep. Somebody's gotta sleep. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much the end of it. That's the deal on the St. Patty's Day DLC. It's the Green Fortune Pack. Good deal. 20 bucks. Well worth it. Well worth it. That's the powerhouse one here. This one here, he's garbage. Now, I'll get this stuff fixed up. I'll make these poles usable. You know, they won't have those. They won't have them reels on them, though. I can tell you that. We'll put some real reels on them. Some, some real engines on them. That's for sure. We'll make them usable. We'll use these reels somewhere else on a pole that they that they meant to be on. Not these. All right, guys. Well, hey, tonight. Let's jump over here, man. What are you doing, Buck? You got your notes ready to go? Well, we got some fishing to do tonight because we got seven more missions. Seven more missions, guys, on this St. Patty's Day thing, and God only knows that when I get those seven done, what's gonna happen. But these seem to be quick. I don't think I'm gonna do a video on each of the missions because it's like go to Mudwater, catch four of these, three of these, and then go here and there. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I, I think I'm just gonna run, do it all, and just record it all and then bust it up somewhere to find out how long it's gonna take and then chop it up into 20 minute videos. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go that route, but tonight we're gonna start that. Um, we're gonna jump on, I guess the first place we gotta go to mud is Mudwater. Let me check my little screen here for missions. Okay, the flavor here, yep. Uh, we gotta catch four, four rowdy bass on Mudwater. We gotta catch three leprechaun fish. And then we jump over and catch two leprechaun fish on Les Nye Villa. So that shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. So we're gonna try to knock out as many of these seven missions tonight on Fish Game with Buck. We're gonna start that at eight o'clock. Remember, come on back. Hey, guys, if you like what went on tonight, if you like what I'm doing here, help me out a little bit. My views are going through the roof. So I'm up to almost 20,000 views. Hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Help me out. Thanks a lot. Hey, we'll see you later. Never, ever give up the fight. Isn't it crazy?